Hello, this is Tim Ostendorf, uh, along with my partner Robert Barker. Um, we own the inn at Crystal Lake, and this is a presentation I'm going to give to the Eaton Zoning Board at a zoning board meeting tonight, Monday, December 2nd at 7 o'clock. This meeting is in regard to running a home-based business at 14 Coldbrook Road in Freedom. The business will be in the barn, which is located in Eaton, across the road from the house itself. We do not think we require a special exception because the business we propose clearly falls into the requirements as outlined in Article 7, Section B of Eaton's Zoning Ordinance. Our proposal is to rent the barn seasonally for events, primarily weddings. Uh, as per Article 7, Section A, this allows for reasonable growth while maintaining the quiet, uncrowded, and scenic features of the town. There will be no outside changes to the appearance of any of the buildings on this historic property, nor will there be any outside storage or display. The only time anyone would even know the barn was being used for events is when an actual event is taking place. Increase in traffic and parking will be minimal as we will do no more than one event per weekend and will only be in operation seasonally May to September. We're estimating about 12 to 15 events per season. Two comparisons that we'd like to get out of the way right away are 190 Brownfield Road and the Stone Mountain Art Center. And we bring them up only because they were mentioned at a zoning board meeting I attended back in October. By bringing up these comparisons though, hopefully they will answer many of the questions we've been asked. Uh, before the current owners of 190 Brownfield Road purchased the property and before it was renovated and turned into a two-family, it was proposed to turn it into some sort of venue for events, retreats, etc. That proposal would have required a commercial food service license and liquor license and therefore the need for installing a larger septic system. Our proposal would require none of that. For those of you familiar with Moody Mountain Farm in Wolfboro, we are using them as our business model, and they have neither a food service license nor a liquor license, and subsequently, no septic system except for the one that services their private home, a very similar situation to ours. They merely rent the barn as a space and all the food and beverage services outsourced. Uh, just as they do, we will supply a list of vendors for caterers, florists, limo or bus rentals, etc., and we will supply portable restrooms through Garland Waste Services in Center Conway, the same company that supplies the porta potties for the beach at Crystal Lake. These units, whether flushable portable units or luxury restroom trailers, will be hidden from view behind the barn. Since the food will be catered and portable restrooms will be used, there is no need for a septic system. As for parking, this will be in the large field to the left of the barn, which we've already applied to take out of current use so it can be used for that purpose. Uh, one small comment about 190 Brownfield, uh, one of the people that opposed that particular project said they wouldn't mind the idea if it were, were tucked up in the woods somewhere. Well, we found that sort of spot. Back to the other comparison to the Stone Mountain Art Center. We wouldn't even have thought of comparing the two, but once again, since it was brought up at a previous meeting, we think it should be addressed. Personally, we feel there is absolutely no comparison between the two. The Stone Mountain Art Center is a year-round facility with a capacity of 200, and quite often a few more, that has the potential of having a concert or event every single night of the year. It is on only 12 acres with a handful of neighbors extremely close. Our barn and house is on 64 acres with its nearest neighbor over a quarter of a mile away. If anyone is interested, I have a picture of the house. That clearing there is, this is from Foss Mountain, and that clearing is our, uh, our property, and as you can see, virtually nobody around us. Um, so, in addition, the barn will have absolutely no capa uh, will have an absolute capacity of, of no more than 100. Our plan is to advertise that we do events of 75 to 80, so that we have a little wiggle room, but once again, absolutely no more than 100. As for traffic, we have our passenger van that we will utilize for some of the transportation, as well as strongly suggesting renting limos or buses for guests. And there's a big difference between 200 concert goers plus the performers and all the staff that that requires leaving en masse after a show versus 80 or so people leaving a wedding staggered throughout the evening. When have you been to a wedding when every single guest and the bridal party all leave exactly at the same time? I think most of you know that we own the inn at Crystal Lake, as I'd mentioned, so another very important part of this plan is to boost the inn's revenue stream. We, like many small lodging properties, have been hit hard by the newer home rental businesses like Airbnb and VRBO. Airbnb in particular has had a huge impact on our business over the last few years, and many of those rentals are in Eaton and Freedom, not just Conway or the larger towns. And a bit off topic, but we strongly suggest individual towns start regulating those rentals. We're pretty confident that none of those rentals have approached the towns for permission, even, uh, even though those rental companies strongly suggest they do so. As for other home businesses, not specifically rentals, but just off the top of our head, we came up with 30 different ones, just in Eaton alone. And here's a list of that if you're interested in that. 
um, some of which have closed since, uh, the, since the 18 years we've been here, but we wonder how many of them went to the town for approval of their home business. And that reminds us of the young couple we purchased the house from. They had also planned on doing events, and when we asked them about it, they said they just planned on doing them and figuring it out later if they got any complaints. And some people may be of the it's easier to ask for forgiveness than it is to get permission mindset, but that's not how we operate. And uh, thank you for that quote, by the way, uh, Rear Admiral Grace Murray Hopper. So that brings up the question about whether or not we will be renting the house or turning it into any sort of lodging, and the answer is no. That is our home, and we plan on preserving the integrity of one of the most historic homes in freedom. One person that had been interested in buying the house, and I quote, thought about buying it and putting a couple wings off the house and using the core of the house to serve as some assisted living units or some sort of cooperative building or housing. I hope we can all agree that we're happy that that did not happen. As for it being our home, this is where we've chosen to root ourselves. We've owned the inn for over 18 years and have become, we hope, an important part of this community. We're extremely supportive of the local businesses and nonprofits, and without patting ourselves on the back too much, have also added to the community in ways previous owners of the inn never had. We're not looking to swoop in and flip the house with another cookie cutter renovation. For example, when people who know the house ask us what our plans are, we tell them that except for any maintenance that needs to happen, we want to keep the house exactly as is to maintain its history and continue its story that we are now a part of. There are some other topics of concern that uh, have also been raised. For example, what about fire protection? Um, there are five means of egress, two of which are very, two of which are very large barn doors on either side of, uh, either end of the barn. Exit signs, smoke detectors, fire extinguishers will of course be installed throughout. Um, what about water? There is a well in the well house, the small well house to the right of the barn. Uh, a submersible pump can be used with a garden hose uh, for caterers and or the portable restrooms. Um, noise is obviously a concern and as outlined on our proposed website, of which I have a copy of that as well, um, if anyone's interested, I've highlighted some important information on that. All events will be completely contained within the barn. Um, there are very specific parameters in regard to the end times of events. For example, all music must end by 9.30 and all events must end by 10. Um, no exceptions to that at all. As for traffic noise, we hope to keep that down to a minimum by, as mentioned earlier, both using our van for transportation as well as strongly suggesting the use of other vans, buses, or limos. Um, we will also have a reminder included in their contract that they are in a scenic residential area that needs to be respected. Going the speed limit of 25 miles per hour will help them appreciate the scenic beauty of the location. Uh, another sort of anecdotal story, I had gone out for a walk one day, Bobby was at the house mowing, and I came back around the corner and I just assumed he'd finished mowing because I didn't hear anything and realized he was still mowing when I actually caught a glimpse of him pushing the lawnmower around. So even from the road, I couldn't even hear a lawnmower across that, that wide lawn. Um, insurance has been questioned or asked about, um, so we will. Uh, every renter will have an, a million dollar venue liability and liquor liability insurance that will be required to be added to their homeowner's policy. Um, and so I'd just like to end with a few quotes from our, our, some of our closest neighbors that live around that house. Um, I'm thrilled to have you and Bobby as a butters. Party time on the hill. There is so much potential there. The South Eaton Meeting House can be used for weddings. Welcome to the neighborhood. I'm so excited that you guys bought the Gelb's house. It's such a beautiful place and I'm so happy to have you as neighbors. Thanks for giving me a heads up on the functions. I'm totally cool with that. We on the Hill are already in your debt as you're storing all the South Eaton Meeting House fare equipment in the well house. You will bring good business to the area and I wish you well. I've been hired to cater a party, but I need a venue. Is the barn available next spring? And specifically in regard to our plans, it would be a low impact way to use a beautiful historic barn. Thank you.